All right, in this video, I'm going to be recovering this uh, seat bottom. Driver sides on the top, passenger sides on the bottom. Uh, there's just some small cracking here, but what's happened here is this is cracked open, obviously, long gone. And when the sunlight hits that kind of foam, it actually degrades it. I don't know if you can see how much is missing out of there. It actually turns it into a hole. So uh, I've got a whole bunch of holes there that are only getting worse by the minute. So I've got a new cover to put on. Uh, the first thing I'm going to have to do is pull this cover off or back and get a measurement of the deepest part of that foam and uh, get some replacement foam and patch that in so I could get it flat again. This piece here is a seat belt pocket. It's in there. And then from the underside, you got this other piece that retains it with these little rings. So you got to get that off. So when I'm looking at the underside of the seat here, there's a couple things to note. Um, how they ran this rod goes from end to end. And that's part of the seat um, track release mechanism. And you want to watch how they ran that. They just got it kind of loose through the one just, just past middle and through this one. Other than that, it's just loose. And how this goes back together is you put it around the thing it goes on and you slip it back inside that uh, little spring and that's what holds it. And now, so I'm just going to go around and take out all the hog rings. All they do is they just they just pinch these rings down on there, and uh, they just stay. That's pretty pretty cool. Um, and then they have a row of stuff sewn in here, so it doesn't just rip through. Well, this one's kind of ripped through, but it doesn't just rip the fabric. That's that kind of hardens it up and gives it a good even pull. So I'm just going to take some quick. Uh, pictures of how this is put on. Looks like this might be a clip here. Other than that, it's just a matter of uh, putting the new one on and folding it in. Again, they came with a strip of Velcro, just like the one on the back. Um, so I will take the glue uh, strip off once I get ready to set this later. Yeah, those are clips clipped into that metal bracket. I'll just go around the whole the whole thing and take those hog rings out. That's what a hog ring looks like when it's used. You just bend it over itself and it just stays there. So what I did on mine in order to leave this right where it was, because I just don't want to move it, don't want to put it in different holes than it was originally in, put it back just like it was. 
uh, I just cut the fabric and just got out of the way so uh, I got all the fabric all sides loose and uh, I'm just gonna rip it off of there now looks like uh, GM figured that the driver's side would get more use of course it does uh, but now maybe you can see some of the craters I don't know if they show up uh, the camera tends to flatten things but uh, you know I've got to get some foam that's as deep as the deepest one here and uh, carve some of that out but anyway they had they had put it an extra layer of uh, wear material on that foam that's kind of interesting good idea didn't last the life of the truck but pretty good nevertheless Okay, so I'm back out here with the second half of the seat for the square body Chevy bench uh, seat recovering project. Um, as you can see, I got the, the thing stripped down. Um, this one's just the uh, standard bench with no um, no armrest, no no anything, just a basic bench. Uh, most of the foam is in good shape, but what's happened to this one is, uh, and this is the driver's side, I guess the GM must put this extra extra layer on there to try to, you know, prevent the driver's seat, which of course gets used every time. Uh, they must have put this gray stuff on there to try to extend the life. What happened is, when the vinyl wore through, the sunlight gets onto this and craters it out. I mean, it's literally like a finger... A finger width it's hard I know it's hard to show stuff on camera but if we look from the edge my finger buries all the way down that's how deep some of this is so it's not going to be that comfortable if I just cover over it so I'm going to try to just fill this in with some foam um, I've got some spray adhesive uh, I might have to use something other than that I don't know sometimes foam melts with certain certain uh, solvents let's say I got some random gray foam it's a little denser than the stuff I have but it's you know in a one inch thickness or so so maybe I can layer that up and try to try to get this thing um, leveled back out so it's more comfortable to sit on and the last thing I got is I got some recycled uh, skinless packing material it's at uh, I don't know it's got a little bit of a little bit of squish to it but I might just put this over the top in case I have any peaks and valleys just put that over the top of the entire seat just to give give me a little more um, you know to span it out if there's little divots or something I think I'll just put that on there I got that for free so why not I'm gonna start on the driver's side here with this side foam I'm just gonna see if this uh, adhesive I have takes any effect at all or if I'm just kidding myself and got to use something like uh, you know contact cement or some of some different type of stuff I want to see if this is even gonna work a lot of times this stuff kind of has to tack up oh yeah I think it'll grab good And I'm going to have some sticky fingers by the time I get done with this. Usually with these kind of glues, the longer you leave it, the tackier it gets not like um, regular glue where you, you don't want it to skin over you actually kind of do want it to skin over all right that's looking a little healthier on the side all right I think what I'm gonna do as far as patching some of this in with this foam I have actually this is closer than I thought it was I'm gonna try to leave as much of the original material as possible I was I was gonna try to cut a hard edge and then fit the pieces in there I think that might create more uncomfortableness than the gradual slope 
that it's at now. So maybe I'll just try to angle cut some and I'm going to see how that works. If that doesn't work, we'll go to plan B, cut straight down, inset it, but um, I know this foam is probably more durable than anything I could buy um, as far as, you know, the heat and the humidity and everything that you get in a vehicle. So. All right, so this video is looking from the back to the front. And I think I want a complete piece right where I'm going to be sitting. And then anything off to the edge here is probably less relevant. Actually, that actually has to be sucked back in a little bit because I looked at the other side. And it's not far past this, so that that's kind of just drooped out. Um, so I think I want the complete piece here. So maybe I will cut it around the edges. But I don't need it that whole size. The widest point. And you want a real sharp knife? This one's actually Ace brand, but boy, I'll tell you, these, these snap-off knives, you can snap off the pieces as it gets dull. These things are crazy sharp. I think I'm just going to cut around it. It's going to be the easiest. What I like is you can make it nice and long like this. Trying to guess how how deep an inch is. Don't know if this is going to work as planned or not. I'm going to try it this way. I could be wrong. I think that is going to be the best way to just cut it out. Just keep keep nailing the high spots until I get down to where I want to be.
Yeah, I got a ways to go, but that's good. It's not it's not too deep. I'll bring you back. Okay, I've got that one fit up pretty good. I just took and ripped the, ripped some pieces out like that with my fingers. Just got it close, and then it sits proud. But the second you put any weight on it, it goes right down to where it needs to be. So that means there's still highs and lows in there. I don't have one of those hot knife cutter machines. That would be really cool to have for a project like this. But it's kind of one of the things I'd only use once in a while, so I'm not going to buy one. Um, I think once I get some glue, and once I stick that, actually I'm a little low right there where I didn't mean to be. Um, once I get some glue, I'm going to put some weight on it, let it stick in the down position because that's where it's going to end up anyway is compressed. And I think we'll be just right. Now I'm going to fit this, uh, the very deepest piece over here. Okay, so for the very deepest part here, I cut that out square. Put in piece one. Actually, to help bring this side in, I'm going to cut that a little short. That way when I glue it and clamp it, this will have room to come in a little more and look less bulgy. Look more more the size that it's supposed to be. I think that's good. Then I can finish it off with another piece. I've got a piece almost big enough. I don't think the other piece is any bigger. No. That's all I got. Um, so I'll just finish it off with this piece. foam here is really broken down on this side. Not rotted, but just kind of powdery. You can see the dust coming off it a little bit there. It's just because you always are getting in and out on this side. A little bit down here. I think I'm all going to be okay here. I'm good there. Good on the front. Got to get a little bit of this back to come down some a little farther. I think that'll be just about right. I'll probably put some straps around it or something and bring this foam up to see if I can get that to bond here. I don't know if it will, but I will try it.
a little high in the front here. I'm going to call that good. If I can get everything locked in right there, I think it'll feel okay. Man, that stuff gets cold when you spray it. Whew. Damn. Oh, it's already sticking. Very nice. Yeah, I went a little low there. Oops. Yeah, it's got good grab, but not quite enough to grip. Well, almost. Almost enough to grab and, and hold by itself. Not bad. Not too bad, not too bad. Stick these end to end just to make sure we don't have a, any kind of seam that you can feel.
Not bad. I might have to go back and forth and stick it down a few times, but uh, even the edge here, it's, it's got pretty good grab going on. So I can accept that. It's a decent, got that seat to where it's pretty, pretty level to where it should be, so. So I got my piece of uh, recycled foam out here, and what I'm noticing is it does not stick to that glue. Barely at all. So I'm just going to have to use this more as a slipcover sheet or something. I just wanted to put something over it to kind of level out the rest of the um, top, but uh, I'm not going to be able to glue it down apparently. So I'm just going to, I just slid it there. Just let it run however long it is. And I'll put the cover over that, I guess, without gluing it down. Okay, so I found that this foam actually will stick. You just gotta give it more time than I was willing to do to let the glue dry out. Glue all over my camera lens. Fantastic. Ah, she's sticking. All right, we're in pretty good shape. I just want to cut out the holes for the seat belts. Good enough. Alright, I'm just going to go through what we're going to use to fasten the uh, seat cover that I bought. about a commercially available seat cover for this. Seat reupholstery kit. I guess it's not really a cover. Um, the fasteners are called hog rings or shoat rings. I guess they actually use these in the pig's nose to prevent them from rooting around or something. But anyway. Uh, you could find them a lot easier than back in the day uh, online under the name hog ring or upholstery ring and all it is it's got two crazy sharp points that can come individually or they can come in a cassette or whatever you want to call it the seat upholstery kit actually came with the individual ones and this little rudimentary tool all you do it's got a little groove there and a little groove on the other side Put it in there 
and then you put whatever you want to tie together you know whether it be the upholstery and a little metal rod in there or whatever and this will bend bend in around and you go as tight as you want and that'll just stay like that um, a better tool I ordered this one online let me show you here this one's got spring loaded um, handle so what's nice is your hand doesn't have to keep the tension while you're trying to position it um, but on mine this was so poorly made obviously these are made uh, some offshore uh, operation um, the spring is good the actions good it feels good but uh, it literally the groove that it came with wouldn't hold the ring in there I mean it can't even be used for its intended purpose I thought that was really really poor of them to uh, send such garbage but I took a uh, a little Dremel tool and cut it so now this one will work and what's nice is see it's it's holding itself it's holding that ring in there I'm not pushing pressure on that then I can position it wherever I want it give it a squeeze and it's locked on so here's the piece of upholstery I'm using mine has been uh, in the shed for a while and moved around 50 times um, this is a hard plastic inside here this piping or whatever I, that's what you want to secure it to some of them are metal some of them are whatever um, but you put your ring around that and then it'll pull it'll hold real good this also has a strip of velcro I guess th these are designed to be a little floppy because you know they probably fit more than one seat or something even though they are ordered by make and model but they have a velcro strip here I'll just unzip that velcro before I put it on but I, I can't see that holding much very well okay so I, I got the sides on um, I ended up ripping it wasn't quite didn't have enough uh, give there I ended up tearing it because I was pulling too hard uh, side to side it's almost too small well it's just about right but uh, it's hard to get on but the other part here is way over I'm way back here with the metal and here's my uh, part that I'm supposed to be attaching same thing on the other side so I think what I'm gonna do is just roll it in I could still feel where that rib is I'll roll it a little bit and then I'll put my rings there I think that's gonna be my best I don't want that the seat uh, the flat part of the seat to have any extra I think even when you sit down it's only going to give more not need it not need to take up from here so that's the way I'm going to go about mine so I'm going to just show you how I'm doing this and uh, pretty much everyone is pretty much the same I'm just taking it from the underside rolling up that plastic rod and I'm going to aim for one of these holes that are cut in here and put the ring right there and my tool slipped off that's all you gotta do so I'm just gonna continue that all the way around I'm sure you don't need to see every last one alright back out here with the seat um, I got good access to the bolt holes if I pull these back a little bit um, you can see all the um, rings put in all the way around and it fit up pretty good um, you really can't see it from that side anyway so let me flip it over and show you what the top looks like now so here's the part we fixed and of course you can't really tell you know it's a good thick thick fabric here vinyl whatever it's not leather um, looks pretty good feels pretty good and um, this foam that's showing through that'll get covered over because the seat back comes out to however far and uh, yeah turned out pretty good thanks for watching okay so here's what I got to put back together I got all the frame put back together the springs for the, and then the uh, lever the hinges the little trim pieces that go on the hinges everything like that's put back together um, this is pretty 
pretty poor the way the back goes on because you really can't adjust the size of it. Um, this one I was able to get it nice and tight like it's supposed to be because I can pull to the side, pull around the, this side, but the back just kind of zips on with zippers so it's kind of one size fits all. Not, not, not perfect, not ideal. But anyway, the last thing I got is the seatbelt things. And all these are, as they got some little barbs right here. And you stick this through the one side and use this as a washer. And as you push, it'll pinch the seat material in between itself and make a finished look. So I've just got to try to cut as carefully as I can because I don't want a big rip or a big hole in my seat. So I figured it'd be a really wise and uh, get the perfect center, go from the back and get the perfect center of the hole and as I flip the seat back up that one went three quarters of the way through and then this one was all the way through the seat back. So don't use a long screwdriver if you do yours like that. Tech tip of the day. There we go. I'll just put the, slide the nuts on from the, I call these nuts, the retainers on from the back side, and we're good. All right, there we go. One seat project complete. Uh, if, you, if I helped you out at all, if you learned something, if you enjoy the entertainment, why don't you subscribe to the channel and you'll get all the notifications you ring the bell for the new videos every time they come out. Thanks for watching.